Do you want to know how a Google software engineer prepared for his job interview? If the answer is yes, then stick around. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from Career Stocks, where I chat with professionals in the tech, consulting and finance industries about their career paths, daily job responsibilities and how they manage to land their jobs. In this video I chat with Avon. Avon studied computer science at New York University of Abu Dhabi and then he managed to land a job as a software engineer at Google in London. In this video, Avon will explain to us how he used the platform Lead Code and the book Cracking the Coding Interview to prepare for his job interview at Google. I hope you'll find this video insightful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And uh, there's a lot of resources, um, and I've already discussed that mm -hmm. with a couple of guests of how to prepare. So the advices were like, lead code yeah. know the data structures and algorithms yeah is there anything you'd like to add on that that maybe helped you for google or in general yeah. or is that it like just do the lead code questions yeah um, so, understand the process or is there any added mm, so so i actually um was listening to one of the episodes yeah, yeah. <laughs> i i i heard lead code yeah and i think there's a bit of a caveat to uh -huh. just using lead code uh, at least for me personally, I was trying to do lead code kind of in an unstructured way. Non-structured or structured? Uh, yeah, non-structured, uh -huh. unstructured uh -huh. way. Um, but that wasn't like lead code is more of the doing of, uh -huh. of the practice, but you don't really know the why or mm, the how. Like explaining the code yeah, or and, how would you make it better? Or, or not even that. There's like the like what I did. Uh, actually was go through the, the there's a book called the cracking the, yeah. the coding interview that's a, essentially a, the bible the though. bible <laughs> not be, like because what you go through especially the technical things it teaches you different um problems algorithmic problems you uh -huh. have and how you can what you can like normal things you can do to tackle them because okay. it's a lot easier to identify something uh patterns oh, this or... is, yeah this is a sorting problem oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, i yeah. know that whatever i have to do there's always like there's i i can use these approaches or there's i can always improve it with this yeah so there's um that gives you all of the knowledge and the how to work on things that lead code doesn't uh -huh, uh -huh. especially with lead code there's a few different ways to to crack a problem yeah and so like you before you even start coding you should know like how do you how do you how will you actually approach. tackle it yeah how will you approach it what are the drawbacks what algorithms are there yeah, especially yeah, yeah. on complex uh concepts like if you're doing like uh dynamic programming mm -hmm. for instance or things with matrices where things get really tricky complicated yeah um it's a lot easier if you have that practice of the base cases and you understand the why because nice. after that, then you know, well, I know how to tackle all of these different topics. It's a lot easier. I know the complexities involved. I know the, the space and time complexities. Yeah. And I have a general idea of how to implement this. Then it's more of a practice thing of knowing quickly how to, how to do translate it. that into a problem, right? Yeah. But that's what I did was essentially go through that entire book. It's really useful, especially if you work through the... Um, problems on paper yeah and once you've worked through them and you've written the code on paper yeah try finding the equivalent problem on lead code uh -huh. and implement it uh -huh. because then okay. you can just try no, it and the, then... get better at the implementation part but at least you have the how exactly. to approach and the explaining part ready exactly and then makes sense and and especially on there's an interesting section section on how to uh tackle all of these interview problems like what to do when you're stuck what yeah. do you what what do you say or what do you not say or yeah what are things that are interesting right so that was really helpful for me nice uh, and sort of to set the basics for for understanding the problems yeah that was really useful of course if you can get um mock interviews oh um, yes that would be even more very useful as well um 
So yeah, I would highly Makes recommend sense. that as Makes well. Makes sense. Yeah. Nice.